Hello and welcome back to our X4 Foundations Let's Play Poorly. Here we go, getting back into our ship. You don't have Can anything I help? for me, do you? No. Ma'am. Oh, but you know who does? The Discoverer guy here. He's eating up all his stuff. Yeah, he's picked up all the things that he want that he has. So, how much? What does he got? He's got some inventory. Does he have anything in? Yeah, okay. He did pick up the the energy cells I dropped. So let's go ahead and have him sell everything. There we go. That he picked up. Drone components, missile components. Uh, whoa, docking is not possible for that one. Oh, I guess, yeah, that kind of makes sense. I think that one might have been uh, build storage. There we go. There he goes. Okay. Meanwhile, we... Eclipse Vanguard. We need to get a few things here. We don't need these missiles. We don't use missiles. We've got our satellites. We should probably get some beacons so that we can use some of those anomalies if we find them again. Get some resource probes just for the shits and giggles of it. Fill up our flares. Pick up some marines. What else do we want to do? Do we want to get our better? No. We can, we can live without that for right now. We do want the better shields, though. And what do we want to do for our weapons? So we have four Mark II pulse lasers right now. Maybe we keep two and switch out to two of something else. So two and three can be something else. Um, ion blaster? What do those do? I don't know what those do. Would it be cool to find out? I think it would be cool to find out what the ion blasters do. And if we're gonna go with ion blasters there, how about... Oh, I bet you they don't... I bet you they're not good, but... All right, for this guy, we've got the pulse lasers. I like the beam emitters. They're actually worse, apparently. But why are they more expensive? That's weird. Uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna play that way anyway. We're just I mean we can always we can always sell them back. It doesn't cost us anything to do that. So we gotta wait a minute and a half. How's Drill Monk? Drill Monk is back to mining. Couldn't do any selling. Interesting. Couldn't sell. Oh no, did sell though. What? Made me some money. Oh, they must have done another run and just couldn't. Yeah. These are very. These are. It's clear that these are depleting very quickly, which which is fine. Um, eventually, that'll that'll pop up. How are you doing? Okay. And once you're done there, you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna have you do some exploring. Discover, yeah, we're gonna have you execute those trades, and then we're gonna have you go back to exploring over there. Callisto Chipmunk, we're gonna have you explore up in here. Just to get a little bit more, more stuff. All right, 30 seconds to go. Well, what else are we gonna do? Well, that's about it. Yeah, because the thing is, this map is so freaking huge. This map is so big, and we've gotten such a tiny portion of it. Look at look at that, how far this this goes into the corner, right? It goes out to here. I mean, you've you've seen this if you played this game, and if you've seen my other series, you know how big this map is. Especially if you've done Space Trucker, if you've looked through that, you'll know because that one has all the all of the sectors revealed immediately. But yeah, it's, it's a big ass map. It's not as big as Elite Dangerous, but Elite Dangerous is a joke, so you know. I say that now, but 
you know I am probably going to do a playthrough of that game at some point. Just a few episodes at a time, maybe. Don't like it very much, but it looks pretty. Alright, so we could go back down to do some of those. Yo, I know what we need to do. We need to put some... What we do need to do is we need to put some satellites down here. That's what we need to do. So we're going to go down towards the silicon refinery here. Autopilot engaged. And we're going to go drop some satellites. Just so we have visibility on that war zone. In some runs, you don't see that war zone popping up for a while, but actually, I think we've been here a while, haven't we? Uh, how long have we been playing this run? Where does it say that? Here? Total time, 7 hours and 22 minutes. Total time and spent in control of a ship, 5 hours and 48 minutes. Yeah, that's how I roll. <laughs> that's how I roll. Uh, but yeah, like seven hours in, you're you're bound to get you're bound to get that war started. I imagine, though, actually, now that I think about it, most people probably have that amount of time in the cockpit uh, because they're sitting in the cockpit in control of a ship while they're doing all their stuff on the map. Um, most people I don't think play just by standing on a dock somewhere. Although now that there is the uh, player office, which I don't know anything about other than the fact that it exists, um, that might be a way to not be sitting in a cockpit and so that that stat will actually have meaning. I probably should have given myself the better travel drive. Ugh, oh well. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna go drop some satellites, and then we're gonna go ahead and oh, uh, well, let's eeny meeny miny mo this, right? Let's pick figure out. We could continue the experiment. Oh, but we need to get a ship that we can blow up. Well, now is as good a time as any. We've got the money. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves the, the cheapest little ding dong ship I can find. 115 for that one. 110 for that one. Entering system. Second contact. How much? We got enough container storage for it. So the elite gets us 110. What about over here? I'm guessing they're more expensive. 238, 202, 133, 244. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and buy this little elite, the little elite minimum preset sacrificial chipmunk and we'll just let it kind of get ready it's going to take some time before it can actually build autopilot okay here we are So I want to go towards this defense, defense station, platform. I think. Yeah, like route this way. So I can put, I want to put a satellite, oh, right Tell here at that, else. right e there against, against that, uh, that wreck. No, maybe a little bit farther down, maybe right about here. Oh, perfect. Wow, look at that. Brilliant. Okay. So now we have visibility here in case there's another fight. There's a hop ship. There's a hop Frog. ship. <gasps> Do we want to take it out? Do we want to use all of our <laughs> shields to do it? No, we definitely do not. Mm, he's trying to get away, isn't he? Yeah, he's heading now somewhere. He's heading for that, uh, that jump gate. We're not gonna catch him. Oh 
might catch him. Why are you shooting me? Damn it! These guns are funkin' weird. Alright, come on. Don't go away yet. Was that your best shot? You really didn't want to do that. I really did. Okay, those weapons were pretty awesome. But I actually do want to put them... Uh, actually, what I want to do is I want to put them on uh, different trigger sets. So, I'm going to do the two... I'm going to do all four up here. I'm going to do them. I'm going to do two beams, these two beams, and then these two blasters. Just so I, I can see what's going on here. So, if I switch... Okay, so these are the beams. Those are the blasters. Wow. They don't stop. Um. I love it. Oh, raiding party, raiding party. No, no. Okay. Well, we got that one guy. So let's go. We can't do the experiment yet. We don't have that ship available. Do we want to talk to Dalbusta or do we want to continue this? I say we continue this one. Do I have the mercenaries? I think I do. The Marines. Yes, I have the Marines. Okay. Autopilot engaged. All right, autopilot. Now let's take a look. Drill monk, you got anything? No. Yeah, this place is it has been played out. That's all right. You're in serious trouble. Is there nothing? Nothing here, right? No, no. It's only ore over here. But you know what? Is there a place that wants ore over here? Entering system. Argon Prime. Can't tell. The shipyard. No, not the shipyard. That guy does. Whoever that is. Oh, the ore refinery. Well, of course, duh. Entering well, system. There's no ore refinery here choice. that I can see. Maybe, maybe Drill Monk needs to go look at that. I don't know. I don't know. I, I still feel like it's worth it to keep him just sitting there doing these, even though they're not really giving me much right now. I mean, it was, the last one was 25 minutes ago, but I don't have to worry about him. I don't have to think about how I probably do have to think about him because I keep thinking about him because he's not getting anything done. System. Silent witness. Fair enough. Oh, you know what? You know what he could do, though? He could drop. All right, let's go ahead and turn off. Let's all, turn off all of those. Delete all of those. Let's get you to drop another resource probe right over there. Maybe right over there. And another one down here. And we'll come and revisit you in a minute. Fall. You know what I should do is I should go Entering check out the these stations over Windfall. here. Actually. Autopilot disengaged. What the 
heck is that in the background? That is so creepy. It's like some kind of a tree. Oh no, that's just... Or is that... No, is that just my uh, shadow? Oops, sorry about that noise. Better go turn off my other computer's sound. There we go. What is that? Uh, is it just shadowing? Yeah. Wow. It looks creepy. It looked like some kind of weird Cthulhu shit. Oh, there's the wharf. Unknown station. Oh yeah, a bunch of things around here. Station, object, that's probably gonna take us down to the next zone. Alright, well, those are out of the way. Well, let's go take a look at this one first. Just this one down here. Because it's kind of on the path and it'd be good to just get it. But having this, this shipyard here... Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's drop a satellite. Damn it! Satellite. No, I always hit the wrong keys. Deactivate. Bigger Syndicate Shipyard. Gotta get a bit closer and drop the satellite. Oh, that's a ship. Wait, no, boy, there's two. Okay, so shipyard and wharf. So I gotta drop one for each because I don't think I'm gonna catch it in the middle. Baker Syndicate Wharf. I'm gonna head over to you. Go. All right. Now we want to head over to whatever that thing is. Unknown station. Just for completeness. All right, we're doing our job there. You're doing your job over here. Sacrificial is ready. So now sacrificial needs three antimatter cells. One, two, three. Oh, that, wow, that's a lot of these ships out here. What the heck? What are they doing out here? There's nothing else around. Interesting. All right. My ship is being scanned. Awaiting orders. Uh, escape. You've got stuff on board, I think. You get hit a little, yeah, shit. That's okay. You'll survive.
All right, that's Ace right over there. Magpie Vanguard. Chipmunk, surely nice to see you. Did you manage to assemble an outfit of Marines? Yeah, I just got a couple of them. Excellent. Let's go. Feels unsafe to be going at somebody with so few Marines, but all right. Entering system. 18 billion. Asteroid. Nope. Resource probe. Pelican Vanguard. All right, I'm here. Now what? That is the ship that the maestro picked out as suitable. How about you fly closer and scan it? That way, we can get a better idea of what we are dealing with here. bit closer. After the scan, you can see how many crew members are aboard the ship. That and the ship's general state will give you a good idea of how much of a challenge boarding will be. This trader here looks to be sufficiently weak. Don't need too many marines to make it ours. Good. All right. First of all, we need to disable the engines and turrets so that the trader is completely at our mercy. Okay. The worse the state of the trader, the better your chances of a successful boarding. How about we pause? Because you know how things are with me. I usually suck at this. Alright, so we are back and let's go do this. Let me survive. Which ones do I want to hit? How do I how do I hit you? Oh yeah, there you are. Wow. All right. It's not bad. Oh, 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 What did I do? Oh, I'm Eclipse hitting buttons. Vanguard. Next up.
Okay. Send your remains swapper to board the ship now. Pelican, Vanguard. Let's board. With our three recruits. Wow, okay. So we can watch the... Preparing for breach. There we go. We can watch this Set now. Up. So we've got the sta first stage is completed. The second stage is in progress here. There's just the one... Yeah. They, go, it was go. designed... The, the, this mission is designed with low, low enemy uh, defenses in terms of Marines. And the uh, voiceover stuff, the oh, yeah. those actually give you useful information. The more they're positive, the no, you know, the better the chances are, and more success you're having. And if they start getting negative, then then you know that your uh, marines are having trouble. So. Okay, look at that. I want to keep it. All right. So we got to go ahead and go in here. We need to assign. There we go. So promote best crew member to captain is the way to go do that. That's done. Now, all of the ship's engines are out, right? So it can't go anywhere. Right? Or does it? What is? What does it have? And does it have anything left? I can't tell. So doesn't matter. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and take our guys back. Uh, where am I? Who am I? This one. It's assuming that that thing can go anywhere. I'm not sure it can. But we'll find out. If not... Well, it's turning. Oh, no, it does have... It does have its engines. Okay, so we should be alright. Well, I guess we just gotta wait for it now. Well, I'm not gonna sit here and do that. Uh, we're at the end of the episode anyway. 
So we're going to go ahead and call it here. While this fellow just lumbers his way back home. Thanks for watching. See you next time.